Well, this uh, next edition of Fun with Science, uh, Mendelssohn's edition. Uh, today we're playing with another gadget I picked up in uh, Dayton at the Ham Fest with Mendelssohn's. Uh, and if you want things like this, you maybe you should act fast. They, these are great little fun little toys, and they they're basically giving them away for you know scrap metal prices. I think it's three bucks for this guy. Looks like a motor. It's got a little gear, but what it actually is, as it says there, is a synchro resolver. Now this is an old analog version of a position encoder, similar to what we use these days. My favorite little example. This came out of a multifunction printer scanner. Uh, this little disc on the back along with the interrupter, the infrared um, the light, LED, and diodes creates a little quadrature um, you know, one, 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 zero, zero, one, zero, zero type quadrature code uh, that moves in like a gray code fashion so you can t even tell which direction it's going. Uh, every little blip it, you know, you can count you can make this shaft count, uh, you know, 1,024 steps one way and then go back 1,024 the other way. It's a little servo. Uh, it's feedback for servo. It's just DC motor. This guy is just the synchro resolver, and uh, I've played around. It's also another uh, 400 hertz. It says right there, two-phase, 26 volts. 400 cycles it says. So we're digging up, uh, we're using our 400 cycle generator power amp. I have it turned up and what I think is the field winding here is this one side that has uh, red and yellow, apparently black is, I uh, took an ohmmeter to it. Red and yellow is the high, re high resistance and black appears to be in the middle. That's on one side, three wires, and on the other side is four wires, two of them are conveniently tied together, but uh, if we look at it, um, we excite it with the power amp, and we look at the output of the field windings, this is what we get on the scope. Now I'm going to turn it a little bit, and you can see that one of them gets smaller and the other one gets big. Now I'm turning it back, you can see they're sort of out of phase. If you turn it, and then now they're in phase, you turn, keep turning it, now they're out of phase. So you can use the relative amplitude to tell which way it's going and the, and the, the phase change there to read which way it's going. I can see some op amps and level detectors uh, working with that and you can probably get a very accurate position reading. I'm just turning it a little bit. So each uh, max to min on another one is I think a quarter of a turn. Here's a quarter of a turn right here, right there, yep. From max on one to minimum on the other, that's one quarter of a turn. But anyway, that, that's another uh, good old-fashioned position encoder. You can make a pretty big servo with that.